Welcome back to the second part of the tutorial. This is Piri and uh, let's continue. Okay, so um, Assault Teams. Um, we already talked about the character uh, part. Uh, now we're moving on to the Assault Teams. Uh, what are Assault Teams and uh, what do you use them for? Basically, uh, Assault Teams are uh, squads. And um, there are a lot of different types of squads and uh, more to come in the future. Uh, so what can we see here on the assault teams and uh, what does the game allow you at the moment to do with the assault teams? So um, as you can see here on the right side, those are the assault teams that I currently have. Uh, I have uh, three infantry squads, uh, four actually, sorry, and I got two um, tank uh, squads. So basically, each of this has a certain amount of, um, of troops. Uh, by example, the infantry has uh, 64 uh, spawns or 64 men in which the heroes can spawn on the FPS part of the game. The tank crews, by example, have uh, or are consisted of about uh, 18 tanks, which in this case are light armor, and the tank crew that mans the tanks itself. So those are uh, the ones I currently have, but you can have different ones and um, I can show you which ones they are you basically uh, to check others uh, you go into the assault uh, team progression overview and you see uh, that you currently have four types of um, of tier one let's say like this or, or level zero in this case uh, that you can purchase you can purchase infantry which are the ones that I have at the moment guards that are basically a smaller type uh, they are infantry, but they are uh, like half the size of a normal infantry squad. So this one has 64, this one has 32. Then you got light armor, which are the ones that I currently have, and fighter squadrons. All these have uh, have um, a level. Um, you start with them at level zero, right? And uh, you basically, as you fight with them on the campaign map. Um, they get experience and that experience is rated by this small stars on the left side of them uh, basically you can see that all almost all of my uh, squads are max level except for uh, the panzer division which only has one star these stars allow you to upgrade your units into a higher tier by example let's check the infantry the infantry if you upgrade to level 1, it will be a motorized infantry. It will basically have uh, terrain vehicles, which are the little cars that you can drive around, and it will still have 64 men. If you upgrade to level 2, you can either choose paratroopers or mechanized infantry, which are the health tracks that are used to spawn people uh, outside spawn points. And you can do that by checking the ones you have at level 0 and the, the team or the um, the unit that you want to have later on in the game um, and it all of course um, changes according uh, to your uh, to the way you play the game oh, what are you interested in do you are are you more an infantry type of guy or or do you love planes and you want to be flying up in the air it all depends on what you want to do and sometimes if you are playing this game as a group as it should be played uh, of what your group of uh, friends uh, has or uh, the tactic that you all have together uh, and try and uh, to accomplish uh, conquering some more uh, some more cities uh, some more factories etc on the battle map itself so basically every unit starts with the four at the moment as the game is with four basic units that later on can progress to others and this is still progress uh, as you can see here that's level three that new units are going to come here and uh, you're probably going to be able to uh, upgrade them even more than that but for now that's what we got so basically that 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 is what I wanted to show you here let me see if I'm forgetting anything uh, the upgrades you need of course this is th this works like the character selection or the character tab uh, that you don't start with any any of them uh, you don't got any assault teams as you start the game you accumulate credits and then you just do as you buy heroes you buy an empty slot and then you choose the one you want if you want infantry a guard a tank whatever you want but you gotta purchase them separately 
and uh, the upgrades you need the stars after you get the stars you can upgrade the, the units itself and I think that that wraps it up for the for the assault team itself uh, one more thing before we finish this part is uh, how to uh, uh, resupply your units and to deploy your units as you as you will see uh, later in this tutorial in the campaign map uh, you will be able to see your units in the map uh, but to do so you're gonna have to deploy them currently mine are all deployed and resupplied as you can see here all of them have the the, um, the most a uh, man or the the biggest amount of troops they can have at the moment but uh, as you fight on you will lose some of those mans some of them uh, of those men and uh, you will uh, you will have to resupply your units uh, you'll do that by coming here at the assault team and just clicking this get reinforcements or uh, deploy the unit when you don't have it deployed on the map but that I will explain it to you uh, on the campaign map uh, later on okay so um, let's move on to the campaign part of the map um, as you click it what you're gonna get is basically a map uh, you see a map like on the table or something and um, this is basically where you're gonna fight your RTS uh, battles uh, where you're going to move your troops, uh, are you going to plan your attacks uh, and your defenses? Uh, currently, you only have this this section available, and even uh, on this section, not everything is available for the game. You got a small portion of uh, of the map itself, but we'll get to that soon. Um, I would like to start with a general overview of what um, you can do and uh, and see on this part of the of the game. Uh, it's quite a lot but um, I think with a bit of patience you're gonna get it and uh, it ain't gonna take long to uh, be a full master at this so as you play as a general what you, what, what you need to do basically is uh, supply your heroes with troops so they can fight on the FPS part of the game and thus win you the battles and thus later on win you the war uh, so basically what you need to do is as you purchase assault teams you're going to need to spawn them on the map, move them forward into the front lines uh, so that the heroes can do the battles. How do you do that? that that's a question that most people uh, don't have the answer to. Uh, they don't know how to spawn the assault teams. They don't know how to uh, resupply them or sometimes even move them. I'm going to try and explain that so that it gets clear to you how to do that part and that you can enjoy as well not only playing this game as a hero but um, as a general and uh, mind, uh, mind this generals are are needed in this game because if you don't have the the assault teams uh, no one can fight battles so uh, let's start okay so um, let's start with the map shall we uh, what can you see on the map you basically can see um, around three to four things on the map and um, three of them basically are stationary items and uh, those are basically uh, the capitals, which are uh, represented by uh, by a star uh, around this little circle, and if you're playing for the Axis, your capital is of course Berlin, and uh, for the Americans, uh, you gotta go to Britain, which is over here, and of course, uh, no surprise there, it's London City. Basically, if you lose your capital, you will lose the war and thus uh, lose the game itself. So that is definitely one of the points that you do not want to lose. Uh, around that what you see is a mix of little circles connected by these strange lines uh, in the beginning this might uh, cause a bit of confusion but uh, later on you'll get used to it so basically what are they uh, the little circles are basically towns they represent towns they represent factories um, airports um, basically uh, everything that you can fight over so to speak uh, and as you can see those are connected by these strange lines in this case they're blue because they are part of our faction uh, what are the lines the lines are basically roads they represent roads and uh, uh, a way to travel from uh, uh, point A to point B uh, you can see a couple examples of that um, you can see a couple of ATs here moving from one point to the other and uh, this player just wants to take these ATs to to the front line and for that he uses roads and goes through towns as he progresses through the map 
and that's one of the points that I want to I want to show you right now is uh, exactly how to do that most people don't know uh, how to deploy their own ATs um, how to use them in terms of uh, how do you resupply them after they fight a battle and they lost a couple of their men or uh, how do they even move on the on the map itself so uh, let's start with that shall we okay so uh, let's talk about uh, the deployment resupply and movement of the ATs most of you guys don't know how to do those three things and uh, those are one of the basics to be a general on uh, heroes and generals uh, so let's do that let's uh, first uh, how do you deploy your AT so basically what you gotta do is go into the assault teams and this of course is after you purchase one assault team uh, after you name it you're gonna get it here basically this this was my first AT that I bought so the Volks Grenadiers uh, squad 1 what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this little button and it will say deploy if this is the first time you're gonna be deploying your unit or if it dies on the battlefield so you click deploy and after that what's gonna happen is this button is gonna change it to get reinforcements and uh, what are you gonna see what changes has it made on the campaign part of the game so basically you go to campaign and your AT will show here as um, basically um, a yellow um, rectangular uh, your ET will be in one of these spots it will be either on your capital or on the adjacent cities around your capital uh, as you click the resupply button what you're also going to see is a little icon coming from Berlin if your ET is outside to resupply your ET so after that that uh, little trip is uh, done your AT will be ready to attack will be ready to fight the battle uh, that is going on basically as you see now a couple of players are taking their fully resupplied ATs into the front lines let me show you how you do that how do you move your AT uh, around the map or um, how do you uh, retreat with it how do you attack with it etc so let me find my ATs I know they're around here somewhere at the front so as you can see my ATs are here a yellow uh, not square but a yellow rectangular and uh, you can uh, distinguish them uh, from all the other players ATs uh, because of the color if you click the town itself what's going to show you is a little um, rectangular uh, menu with your ATs on it you can see there's a couple more in here so how do you move them this is what you're gonna get if your AT is at your uh, at your capital or close to it you're gonna click on the AT itself click on the left mouse button and just drag it you'll see that a little gray ar uh, arrow will appear and uh, what you gotta do then is just move it in the direction that you wanna go basically if you wanna go to this town you just get to the town release the button and the AT starts moving as you can see every AT will take a time um, they will walk faster or move faster on your own supply lines uh, walk slower on enemy supply lines or um, this gray lines that basically doesn't don't, don't belong to any of the factions and here we go it's arriving to the other town and your movement is complete so basically this is how you you move your ATs from one point to the other from uh, A to B and uh, bring them to uh, the front lines so they can do battle and uh, thus uh, leveling up as well so that's important to uh, upgrade your ATs later on and uh, two more things now so let's see uh, what we're we missing here so we got deployment we got uh, resupply and we talked about movement as well let's talk about um, how do you attack with your ATs and uh, how do you retreat with them if you need to retreat with them so let's uh, let's try it right uh, I get one of my ATs here. Let's attack um, some some enemies or or try to resupply a battle with your own troops. So basically, um, how do you distinguish what battles are going on from the battles that are not going on? Uh, basically, you see around the town, you see a, a red circle, or if you have it enabled on the options, you will see flames coming out from the town. That basically are ongoing battles.